Some people in the poker community consistently advocate positivity, but any poker player who wants to make it big needs to be aware of a lot of harsh realities. Poker is not a game of sunshine and rainbows, and today we will discover some of the harsh facts of playing poker professionally. Instead of attempting to convince you to abandon your ambition, this video will help you to get ready for the future. Number 1. You will lose tons of money. No poker player ever wins every hand. People would stop playing you if you did. There are moments when it appears impossible for you to lose. You will, however, occasionally lose money and by money I mean a lot of money. In poker, losing streaks are inevitable. These streaks can occasionally last a long period. How you respond to and recover from these streaks will reveal a lot about your potential as a successful professional poker player. The best players find a way to bounce back whereas the others lose interest or quit playing entirely. Number 2. You are not important to the poker room. Even if you are a professional poker player, the poker room will not value you as highly as other players. In actuality, you won't be significant as many participants of poker games. Because at the poker tables, the poker room cannot profit much from your presence. Poker rooms and casinos seldom profit from professional poker players outside of rake. Your loss of revenue won't have a significant impact on the casino or poker room's bottom line. Of course, the casino will go out of its way if your strategy includes flaws like betting on sports or playing the slots. Just take a look at how poker stars have handled its best players in recent years. Due to rake increases, awards reduction and a strong emphasis on recreational players, many professional poker players have departed the site. Simply said, Pros aren't that significant to poker rooms and casinos. Number 3. Few people will accept professional poker as a real job. It's likely that you have already come across folks who find it difficult to believe that you can support yourself by playing poker professionally. It will be a reoccurring theme in your life, so get accustomed to it. Even if you are successful, your non-poker world friends and family may not see poker as a real career. Most people will assume that you are really lucky and that things will ultimately turn around. You could also experience issues getting loans or other forms of credit among other aspects of your life. There will always be queries or skepticisms even if you have all the necessary documents demonstrating that you are a strong candidate. So if you decide to get a job after 5 or so years of poker, that may be an issue. Few people understand the skill set required to be successful at poker, so don't be shocked if future potential employers dismiss you as a degenerate gambler. Make sure you are ready to roll with the punches. Number 4. It is possible to play perfectly and still lose. The most frustrating aspect of poker is that you may play your best poker and still lose. When that continues over an extended length of time, players start to lose confidence in their skill and may become so irritated that they decide to stop playing poker indefinitely. To be able to face the madness that is poker, you must develop your mental fortitude. Poker players, especially professional poker players, must be psychologically robust. This isn't the job for you if, despite playing flawlessly, you still cannot accept losing. Before we continue with this video, give me 20 seconds to let you know that for a limited time, one of Blub the Spots coaches, Jimmy Durade, is giving away his guide on how to crush your opponents in 3-bet pots for free. If you are serious about your poker game and want to develop an unfair advantage over your opponents pre-flop and understand how pros really make their pre-flop decisions, I strongly recommend you check it out. The link is in the description. Number 5. You will not always be a pro poker player. Consider the world's best pro poker players. Most of them are probably not actually professional athletes. Most poker players who begin as professionals eventually diversify their revenue stream to provide variance-free income. There is nothing wrong with this. It's actually very clever. Take advantage of the opportunity if you can invest in a company or accept sponsorships that will bring in extra money for you independent of how well you do at the poker tables. You could even play poker more effectively as a result of it. If you play close attention to poker pros that are in the game more than a few years, you will see that they have other interests in and outside of poker. Some have sponsorship deals with online poker rooms or casinos. 
others are poker coaches or conduct poker training courses. A few are also invested in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Some operate various businesses. Chances are that you will find other interests to give your life more stability. So in the end, you will not always be a poker pro and that is okay. Number 6. Few are long-term profitable at poker tournaments. If you play poker tournaments, you could have fantasies about seeing the world and competing in the biggest games. Although this is a wonderful dream, the bulk of tournament poker players are lifetime losing players. To be profitable at poker tournaments, you have to be consistently making final tables or banking big events. Wins are scarce and far between for many players. Even the top tournament competitors will have extended intervals in which they fail to even crack the top three. Include the cost of travel and the buy-ins for all the events you bust without cashing in and tournament poker can be a money pit. And lastly, number seven, have a backup plan. While this may sound like your parents talking, it is a good idea to have a backup plan for what to do if poker does not work out for you. If you're pursuing a college degree, continue doing so in order to have the best shot at a career after poker. For those that have other interests outside of poker, continue pursuing them. Pursuing other interests may help augment your poker income while you're still playing and give you a lifeline after you're done with the game. This video is powered by Bluff the Spot, the best place to learn how to win at poker from actual high-stake coaches like MMA Sherdog. Check the link in the description.